Hey people, Demon here, and today I am reviewing the final episode of Final Space Season 3. Um, there will be spoilers, just in case you're wondering. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's the best episode of this season. Even though, personally, I think this season has been very lackluster, uh, and it's had a, quite a few problems, it's the worst season so far, I would say. Out of all three, out of all three seasons, it's the worst season. <laughs> Um, but it did leave us on a cliffhanger and it left us with, left me personally, I guess, with, uh, wanting more to see what will happen next and to see if they will fix a few of their mistakes that they made in this season. I will get into that a little bit later though, <laughs> but anyways, spoiler alert. So this starts off from our last episode where quit, where Ash has stolen little avocado Took him to Evictus to keep him safe. Uh, where she's like, now it's just me and you, bud. We're, we're a family. What kind of family? I, I don't know if she meant like a sister, a sister brother family, a lover family, or something like that. There's the family, as she says. <laughs> uh, kind of reminds me of Yandere, but whatever, I guess. Because she's completely and utterly psychopathic. Um, and remember, it's all due to the lie Avocado told him. Even though I felt that was kind of just put there out of nowhere and was kind of done rushfully and kind of stupidly. But, um, <laughs> that's another complaint about the season we'll talk about a little bit later. But anyways, she takes him there. Gary and Avocado go to rescue her. Um, in the process, of course, Gary says goodbye to Quinn, and his mother says absolutely nothing to him. Which is weird, because I feel like she would have said something to her son that might die. But I guess not, which is another thing about the season I did not like. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Anyways, they go to find Avocado and Ash. They find them. Ash has fully gone freaking crazy to the point where she's not even herself anymore. Uh, mostly because of her brother dying and such, and she blames Gary and Avocado and Quinn and all of them. Uh, so she's freaking crazy. Uh, at the end, Lord Commander shows up. Uh, he gets his ass totally handed to him by Ash. Um, because she has, like, Invictus's power. And then, uh, Gary and... Avocado and Little Avocado are able to escape, and they're almost able to escape back to Earth because of Triborg and his son, which I'm sure we'll see in next season. Uh, if there is one, hopefully there is one, because this season was a little bit lackluster, and I hope they don't take that into account and be like, oh, we're not doing the next season. I hope they don't cancel it because of this season. Um, at least in my personal opinion, it was lackluster. <laughs> uh, but hopefully there is a next season, because they left us on a cliffhanger, because at the end... Um, Ash shows up out of nowhere because she can fly super fast now. And she literally steals Mooncake. And I think Mooncake might still be alive, but at this point she's kind of torturing him and steals his power. But uh, it's up in the air what, what happened to him. Of course, we didn't see him die on screen, I guess. Uh, at least not to what I could see. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. <laughs> Um, anyways, we didn't see him die on screen, at least not what I could see, uh, him die on screen. Um, but Ash has the power to let Evictus out, and she does. <laughs> she lets Evictus out into the real world, and Gary, Quinn, his mom, Avocado, the Avocados, they're just kind of left to stare in horror, <laughs> As uh, Victus escapes from final space to terrorize normal space, and she locked away, uh, she locked away the Lord Commander just like she did to Lobo, uh, which is really cool, <laughs> really interesting. I, I wonder if they're gonna bring him back next season uh, to fight against Lord Commander. I mean, to fight against. Uh, uh, you know, Evictus, because Evictus is obviously the more better, the bigger threat at this point. So they could bring him back. Um, but yeah, freaking crazy episode. 
Really good, actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, some crazy twists and turns here, uh, but really good episode. And it left us on a giant cliffhanger, and if they cancel the show at this point, it's going to be sad. <laughs> hopefully they don't. Uh, I don't know if they will or not, but hopefully they don't, and hopefully there's another season. And hopefully the, the, the other season is going to be better. I don't know how much seasons are left, but I can assume like one to two more. I mean, I, I can't really see them going any further than that. I mean, at this point, uh, they let her out. Uh, I think they're probably going to be on the run, but they're probably going to be like, you know what, we got to fight, we did this, we got to stop him, and especially Quinn's going to be like that. And I don't know how they're going to stop him, but they're, they they got to stop him or her, whatever it is. They got to stop it <laughs> and all the Titans as well. And I think uh, there's a possibility that they could go back into Final Space because there's a rift between Final Space and Normal Space. Go to one of those dead Earths they saw and activate a Kevin net from the dead Earth. So that might happen. Because if you remember in a few episodes ago, we saw some dead Earths. So that could happen. Obviously, I expect Triborg to come back <laughs> in a big way like he always does. Uh, but yeah, all in all, really good episode. Uh, season, on the other hand, lackluster season. So let's talk about the season really quick before I wrap up this uh, this review. <laughs> so good episode, good uh, plot ending, uh, good like uh, cliffhanger ending, but uh, can't wait to see more. <laughs> but this whole season, in my personal opinion, has been lackluster like a motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, it's just been super duper lackluster to the point where it was kind of disappointing most episodes, to be honest. There were some episodes where I was, I was like, ooh, that's good, ooh, that's good. But then the rest of them were just like, seriously, that's disappointing. Um, let's see, what's the biggest problems I have with this, with this uh, season? First problem would have to be the rushing. There was a lot of rushing, it felt like. A lot of rushing to get to an end point that it feel like, I felt like it would have been better going a little bit slower, but they kind of rushed it, in my personal opinion. They kind of rushed it a little bit too fast. Like with uh, Fox dying, he dies in like the first few episodes. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and then Ash turns completely crazy by the end of the by the end of the uh, series by the end of the season. Even though like a few episodes before beforehand she was completely fine, but then. I don't know, she goes crazy because of Avocado's dead parents, I guess. Uh, another thing uh, I hated uh, was the whole, uh, we find out Avocado uh, has killed little Avocado's parents. And he was the ruler, his parents were the ruler of his homeland. And we find that out, and it's kind of a really stupid plot development that we didn't really need to know uh, it just it just it was just put there to to make uh to make Ash go crazy I guess essentially it was just put there as a plot point to make Ash go crazy eventually so that's kind of stupid and I'm assuming there's going to be strain between them in the future uh, episodes if there is another season I assume there's going to be some strain between Avocado Little Avocado and even Gary. So that's another thing that I felt was kind of stupid. Um, I I said previously in a previous review that I would have preferred him being Avocado's real dad, like little Avocado's real dad, but um, I would have preferred like he he killed his own wife because uh, she wouldn't follow Lord Commander or something like that. You know, I would have preferred that, and then that's why he like they have this emotional breakdown sort of thing, and even that would even explain why um Ash went crazy. Instead of going, like, oh, no, he killed his original parents. That's what happened, guys, I guess. And then he saw this baby. He's just like, you know what? This one baby out of every other thing I've killed, I'm going to save this one baby because plot armor. <laughs> kind of stupid. I feel like it would have been way better if it was actually his child, but he killed, like, the mother or something like that. Would have been a way better plot, but they went with, like, an average plot that's... Sorry about that little cut again. <laughs> But as I was saying, I feel like uh, that plot point has been used in a lot of other shows, like a thousand other shows. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's not bad writing, I guess. It's just not inspiration. It's just not uh, 
original or anything, but I guess like most things aren't original anymore, right? Because most things have been told already. <laughs> um, I just feel like it could have been better if they would have changed it. But uh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> uh, so that's another thing I disliked about this season was that like whole plot th- plot thread that they made just out of nowhere. Um, it would have been much better if they like alluded to it, but they never did. They just kind of made it out of nowhere. Um, a- another reason is what's with all the long silences and the long pauses? Um. There just wasn't, like, I could I could connect this to, like, another reason was, like, there wasn't enough jokes, I think. There wasn't enough uh, funny jokes. There was some funny jokes. There were some good jokes. But usually the seasons are pretty packed full of jokes. But this season was kind of just, like, full of a few jokes, but mostly just, like, meh. <laughs> Which was kind of disappointing. Um, And there wasn't enough talking. I feel like... Maybe they didn't have enough to pay the voice actors, but I feel like there should have been more talking. Usually the voice actors are more talkative. At least from what I can remember in the previous two seasons, the voice actors were way more talkative. But in this season, it's almost like they're all mute. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Like, they're all trapped. Some Like, uh, I remember in the first few, first few episodes, they were trapped by Lord Commander... And the only one that really talked was Avocado, Little Avocado, Ash a little bit, and her brother a little bit. And, like, Gary's mom just slightly. Yeah, so she barely talks. And that's the big problem with it, is, like, there's so much episodes where I felt like they should have talked more, or they should have been talking because in previ- in the previous seasons, in the previous episodes, these characters are all very talkative. All very, uh, like, they talk a lot. Uh, they'll argue sometimes. They'll joke around. But in this season, they're very quiet. Very somber, almost. And it's very... <sighs> kind of stupid, to be honest. It's kind of stupid. The way that these characters are just kind of silent. Uh, it's kind of stupid. Um, especially on the times when like, you think they would talk, but they don't. Um, like the last episode here. Uh, Gary's going off to save Little Avocado. And he might die. Uh, he talks to Quinn, but his mom never says a goddamn word to him. It's so stupid. It's like, come on, shouldn't she say, like, hey, Gary, uh... Do your best, champ, or something like that. You know, do your best, son. <laughs> and he's like, I will, mom, you know, sort of thing. But instead, she's just like, no, nah, I'm not going to talk. Actually, I'm going to leave. <laughs> because she kind of just disappears. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's kind of... That's that's so stupid to me. That's so stupid that they had them all silent to the point where it was, like, deafening. To the point where it's just like, will these characters really be like this? <laughs> so that was annoying. Um... And then there was like the whole fact that this whole series, this whole season has, it was, it was just too like, oh my goodness, everything is super duper serious. Like, if I'm not mistaken, the season one and season two had like a, a music track to where they either fought to it or danced to it or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, Season 2 had that as well. I think Season 1 had that too. Where there was like music and they're like, ooh, yeah, we're dancing or we're fighting or something like that. It's cool. And this one, nothing like that. (laughs) Only like background, like epic, like dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun kind of music. But but no actual music music. Like the way way it used to be in the older, in the... In the previous uh, seasons. So that was disappointing. Um, So many missed jokes too. So many missed opportunities. Uh, So that was also disappointing. So all in all. This season. Was okay. It was the worst out of all the seasons so far I would say. Um, All three of them I guess. The third season was the worst season. Uh, First one probably was the best. But uh, this one was the worst, and it was just kind of sad and disappointing, to be honest. Like, 
you feel like there should be more and there would be more, but there there isn't. But it's it's just kind of sad, you know. Uh, just the way like they bumbled some of the stuff in this season, so that's kind of sad. <laughs> um, but it did have some good episodes and some good action scenes, um, and some good parts like that one part where Gary talks, where they bring back one of the dead Garys, and he talks. That was like, oh my goodness, that's super messed up and super sad and stuff. That was cool. Um, and the whole ending part was pretty cool, except. I think Ash kind of turned too much on the dime there, but whatever, I guess. But the whole cliffhanger is cool, so that's cool. Uh, and I guess she might have a chance to be redeemed. Uh, redemption. <laughs> uh, so that might be a thing as well. So, uh, But yeah, like the whole story in, in general was okay. It was fine. But it wasn't as good as it was supposed to be, I think. Uh, but anyways... Uh, hopefully the next season's better if they even get one. Hopefully they do get one because I, I want to see what happens after this cliffhanger. I think one or two more seasons should be max, uh, to be per- personally, because any more season than that, they might, uh, they might be pushing it. But, uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope there's another season after this. But yeah, anyways. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. That's the best way to keep my channel. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as our friends, stay sane. Peace. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, and share this video. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Shut up, my baby. I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look, look at everybody. Look over here.